China has gone insane over the US backlash to TikTok. It's fighting tooth and nail to keep control. And there's a reason for that. Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. China is going crazy over the idea that ByteDance, a Chinese company that's subservient to the Chinese Communist Party, may possibly be forced to divest TikTok, thanks to a US House bill that now awaits Senate approval. They're lashing out harder than a nine-year-old with ADHD at the thought of losing TikTok. China's doing everything it can to prevent that from happening. It's desperate. Chinese officials are urging the US to stop suppressing TikTok warning that the bill puts the U.S. on the wrong side of the principles of fair competition and international trade rules. You know, like China does. Chinese state-run media likewise complain about the U.S. cracking down against Chinese companies, and get this, they accuse the U.S. of tearing to shreds the First Amendment right to free speech. Why, look at state-run media even quoted U.S. free speech organizations. That's legit. Yes, the Chinese Communist Party, big supporters of free speech. Oh, would you look at that? Freedom House scored China one of the lowest in the world when it comes to free speech. That's why all American social media are banned in China. But the Chinese Communist Party knows America. And that's why they brought out their most powerful weapon in their arsenal, the race card. This is McCarthyism at its worst. It's actually worse than McCarthyism because it's also coupled with a distinct flavor of yellow peril, namely racism. Yes, whenever there's any legitimate concern about the Chinese Communist Party, it all boils down to simply racism against Asians. You criticize China running concentration camps? That's racist against Asians, racism against Asians. Speaking of concentration camps, there's this anti-Semitic conspiracy floating around that says the only reason the US government wants to ban TikTok is that the Jews want to ban it because TikTok was the only place you could get real information about Israel. State-run media rolled out this image of a shadowy, hook-nosed character being the one really behind the TikTok ban. Ah yes, the CCP complains the US is racist, while the CCP pushes anti-Semitic propaganda and runs concentration camps. And let me remind you, this is not a ban. Not that that's the biggest problem with this image, but it's sad to see a lot of US media repeat China's TikTok ban misinformation. The bill just forces companies controlled by foreign adversaries, like, you know, China, to sell apps designated a national security threat. You know, apps like TikTok, the law would not punish people for having the app. It would punish app stores and web services if they choose to host TikTok, and only if ByteDance refuses to sell. As long as ByteDance doesn't control the app, you'll still have TikTok around. Thank God, what would we do without our stupid TikTok challenges? If you wanna learn more about the bill in detail, check out our full breakdown on my podcast, China Unscripted, the link is below. So why is China so desperate to have ByteDance keep TikTok? I'll tell you after the break. Welcome back. So let's imagine you're a TikTok shareholder. First of all, that's gross, but I guess it's a smart investment, kind of like a high pressure bidet. But if you were a TikTok shareholder, you should be happy about this. TikTok has been constantly under investigation for things like spying on American journalists, but as a TikTok shareholder, you don't actually have a say in what TikTok does or doesn't do because China calls all the shots. Aside from having to comply with what the CCP wants, ByteDance is also a cog in China's military industrial complex. For example, ByteDance has collaborated with Chinese universities to produce cutting edge research for the People's Liberation Army. And it has contributed with Sugan, a company that's contributing to China's nuclear weapons program. So for all those progressive teens on TikTok posting Black Lives Matter are helping a system that believes no lives matter. And that's a dangerous app to have your money invested in. So for anyone on TikTok, having it free from CCP control is a good thing. But China has every reason to prevent ByteDance from divesting from TikTok. Divesting would mean giving up a lot of valuable data TikTok's algorithm has been gathering over the years. 
More importantly, it would give US coders access to see what the algorithm's capable of. Chances are it would show just how much spying TikTok does and how exactly it does it. As I've been saying for years now, TikTok collects an awful lot of data, way more than any other American social media company. And here's a small sample of what it was caught collecting. It was even collecting clipboards and keyboard strokes. China wants to know more about you than you know about yourself. Which isn't hard since so many people that still use TikTok completely lack self-awareness. But data alone isn't the only thing that's important to China. It's what it does with that data. TikTok is all about manipulating the media landscape, and through it, the mind. This 2020 front page article by the CCP-controlled China Journalist Association gives a lot of insight into the CCP's thought process on this idea. The headline reads, How should we understand the important position and role of the work of the press and public opinion? It explains how both news and public opinion shape society and ideologies, and concludes that any political party must do a good job of public opinion if it is to seize and hold power and achieve long-term peace and stability. And what better way is there to sway public opinion than with a major social media app's powerful algorithm? Well, I guess you could just be nice and help people, but we don't have time for reasonable humanitarian solutions. Chinese communists love control. They can't do without it, especially when it comes to the media. That's why Chinese communist leaders have always put a lot of emphasis on propaganda. Mao Zedong said propaganda of the Red Army is the first major work of the Red Army. Because who needs food or infrastructure? Just do your propaganda Jedi mind trick and make everyone believe everything's fine, even as they starve to death. Big Brother says your chocolate ration has been increased from 30 grams to 20 grams. Leaders after Mao had the same thought process. I can't think of a more damning indictment of communism than hearing communist leaders say the most important aspect of communism is tricking people into thinking communism is a good idea. These leaders warned that public opinion, if not carefully controlled, can spell the end of the CCP. Anything less than complete control over TikTok would spell disaster in the eyes of the CCP. Desmond Shum, someone who used to do business with CCP leaders, states, the CCP equivalates TikTok going independent with losing control of its implant in the US society. This is an all-or-nothing warfare for the CCP. Indeed, TikTok's reaction to the House bill only proves how dangerous CCP control is. Before the House vote, TikTok was able to mobilize its followers to contact House representatives in an attempt to stop the bill by sending push notifications to their phones that basically called your representative for you. Oh, even their political campaigns are organized like flash mobs. They are evil. Failing that, they're now urging US users to call senators to vote no. You want evidence of TikTok manipulating US politics and putting US national interests at risk? There, you've got it right there. We live in an era of information warfare, and China's all in on it. It amazes me how many people don't think that's a big threat to them. Trust me, you do not want to let TikTok keep festering around. Under the control of an authoritarian regime, it's very anti-free speech. That's the type of power the CCP wants over people. It's something that the US should keep away from CCP hands. Of course, me telling you all this is why the CCP hates China Uncensored so much. We're fighting back against their narrative warfare. They even wrote about me in state-run media, calling China Uncensored disgraceful anti-China garbage. But with YouTube suppressing the show, I can't afford to keep making China Uncensored. Making the show and paying my staff isn't cheap, and the CCP would love it if I had to shut down the show. That's why I need your help. All it takes is a dollar or more an episode on patreon.com slash China Uncensored. I make about 16 episodes a month, but if that's too much for you, you can set a monthly limit. So you can ensure I can keep uncensoring China for even a dollar a month. And as a thank you to everyone who gives on Patreon, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of these episodes. Today's question comes from Eugene R. Sano Jr. Chris, I hope you can answer this. People seem to be losing their minds that Nippon Steel is trying to buy US steel. If it was a Chinese steel firm with connections to the CCP, would people still be freaking out? Or would they be like, oh, it's no problem, it can go through? Wow, Eugene, I think you summed up the problem with US-China relations really well. Yeah, there are legitimate concerns about having a foreign power take over major U.S. manufacturing, the least of which are jobs. 
So as you say, Eugene, there's been a lot of backlash over the Nippon Steel thing. And that's because Japan doesn't have the comprehensive narrative warfare that China has against the US. Things like TikTok are how the CCP can bend the American people to their will and abandon their own national security interests. Even without TikTok, China got the US to gut American manufacturing and send it to China. Fortunately, things are changing now, and there is much more skepticism about the CCP. But as we can see with the backlash against the TikTok bill, the CCP won't give up that control without a fight. Thanks for your question and your longtime support, Eugene. If you want to join Eugene, click on that orange button to support China Uncensored on Patreon. We can't afford to make the show without you. All it takes is a couple of bucks a month. And check out this video from my other show, Deep Thoughts While Gaming. Just click right here. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.